Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Today I came up with one new project. So let me first explain about the project, what exactly this project is going to do for us. So in our system, we want to install Prometheus software. But what is my requirement? If software is already downloaded in our systems, I don't want to re-download the software. If the software is not downloaded in my system, then first we have to download the software and then we have to install it. So for this project, we need two utilities or you can say two different things which we are going to use as part of this project. First is wget. So what is wget we will be learning in this project. The second thing is how to check if a file is existing in my system or not existing there is some option called hyphen e. So in this project, first the prerequisite part we are going to complete and once it is done, then we are going to start with building our project. So first let us understand what is wget. So wget is a free utility for non-interactive download of files from the website. It supports HTTP, HTTPS, FTP protocol, and retrieval through HTTP proxies. In a layman language, if I explain, using wget utility, you can download any softwares or any files from internet. Either internet is using HTTP or HTTPS or even file transfer protocols. So wget is really very a strong utility, which we always use in our Linux infrastructures. So wget is not interactive meaning that it can work in the background means as a programmer in the back end of program you can write wget utility and in the back end it will be working you don't have to go in system like windows where you will be clicking on the gui you will be downloading the software and then you will be installing it everything can be done in the back end so while the user is not logged on which allow you to start a retrieval and disconnect from the system letting wget finish the work. So wget is really very wonderful and powerful tool which we are going to use as part of this project. Now first thing is we have to confirm in our system if wget is installed or not. If we want to see that wget is existing in my system or not we have a command which we have to use if we are using Linux CentOS based operating system. So what is the command? Command is you can check rpm hyphen qa grep and your software name, whatever the software name wget. So we can see in my system already wget is installed. But suppose in my system if wget is not installed. So let us remove this software. yum remove wget hyphen y means yes it will automatically remove the wget software now so now wget is removed from my system now let us see rpm again so you can see rpm hyphen qa grep wget so no wget software is installed in our system so if you have to install wget in your system first you have to do sudo yum install wget hyphen y for yes so you can see now wget is installed how you can verify using rpm command so you can see wget is now again installed in our system so if you are using centos based systems or red hat based system yum will be working for you but suppose if you are using ubuntu systems you can use apt hyphen get install wget this will be working for your Ubuntu systems. Now, how exactly wget works? Like how to download any softwares or any files from a website? So, syntax is too simple. wget and your website http or https website slash the path of complete file. So, here in this example, you can see I am going to download file.zip which is kept in the website http website.com slash files. So wget and the website link plus software name that is going to help us to download any software in our system. Now let us do all these things practically. 
so let us see what program we are going to use for this purpose so first line is shebang line which you already know in previous projects also why shebang line is used now echo is simple echo which is going to use to print the message so echo double quotes download the prometheus windies and then i am closing the code so this message will be displayed when a script will be running now this is very important section let us understand i am using if else condition which we have already discussed in our previous lectures so what exactly we are doing if starting the square bracket the option is called hyphen e hyphen e means exist so what i am telling if this hyphen e means if this software exist and i am giving the full path of software so software is kept at home ec2 hyphen user and then software name is prometheus 2.4.0. linux amd tar.gz so i am telling if at this path if this prometheus software exist then what you have to do you have to print a message message is file is already existing so no need to download means a simple message i am printing that file is already existing in our system and if file is already there since it is dot tar dot gz so how to extract any file in linux system to extract a file having tar dot tar dot gz extension you have to use tar command hyphen minus z means it will unzip it then x is extract means it will unzip uh, extract the file v is verbose verbose means it will show you the progress of extraction of file and f is called forcefully means you don't have to enter any prompt it will automatically extract the file so what i am telling that if the software is already existing then you just do extract the file in my system but suppose if this file is not existing so it will not go into this block of code it will go into the if instead of if it will go to the else block what it in the else block we have written echo means a message bind it does not exist in system first we need to download it so it it is not able to find the binary here so what we are doing using wget command we are specifying the full path of website along with the path of software how i got this link i'll show you so if you go to prometheus site prometheus.io slash download you will see the softwares dot tar dot gz so for linux amd64 this is the software just right click here and then you you can see copy link address is there here this one copy link address so if you copy the link address the same link will be coming for you so once wget is done what wget is going to do this will go to this website and download prometheus dot tar dot gz so once the software is downloaded in our system then again i am telling extract the file and once file is extracted then normal message we are printing that file has been extracted now you can start your prometheus and then we are closing the if condition we are closing the if else condition with fe fe is to close fe is to close the condition so now let us save this file and let us run the script first let us see here so you can see binary is not installed in our system so now let us uh, let us change the permission of this file ch mode plus x cell wget.sh and then after that just run the script cell wget.sh so what you can see let us see each line by line so download the prometheus binary message was printed then we got the message that binary binary does not exist in the system first we need to download it and then it has started going to this website and using wget command it was able to download in our system and once this file is downloaded then it has started extracting the file and file has been extracted here you can see and then you got the message that file has been extracted you can start prometheus so now you understood this time it has gone to else block and it has downloaded the software now let us do one thing now let us 
let the software be here and then let us again run our script and see what is going to happen this time so now you see so what it is telling that file is already existing so no need to download so file was already present and it was able to recognize using hyphen e option and then it has just extracted the file so i hope you guys are now clear that how exactly wget command works in our system and how to check if some file is already existing in our system using hyphen e option that's it for today's video thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time in coming lectures we'll be coming with more videos and more real time projects thank you